Hey everybody, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Ashley here with a really cute collaboration with Christina who is Crafty Paws here on YouTube and she is such a sweetheart. I'm sure most of you know her and she asked me if I would do a collaboration with her and I was just so honored that she would want to do a collaboration with me. I have watched her videos for so long and she is so crafty and she just does the most amazing techniques. So if you guys love cards and different crafty projects, you should definitely go over and check out her channel. Um, she is going to be having a card today as well as my card and what we are doing is a collaboration using ribbon and enamel dots. So I tried to use two techniques that are completely different that you haven't seen before hopefully and one of my favorite things to do with ribbon is to do this twisting technique and it works really cute to add some dimension. So as you can see, it really does look like this cute little turtle and fish are swimming through the water because it looks like there's some waves and movement there. And it's a really, really easy technique. So I'll show you in my tutorial, which is coming up after I'm done talking and you guys can see how I did it. And then also for the enamel dots, I did a super cute little seen using them almost as like gravel at the bottom of the ocean. So for you guys who have a ton of enamel dots like I do, I just have so many enamel dots and it will take me so long to use them all up. So this is an awesome way to use them up, especially if you make enamel dots. I have a ton that I made. So this is just a super cute way to add some dimension and I love how my card turned out. So I am going to start the tutorial now for you guys to watch, and please, please, when you're done watching, head over and check out Christina's YouTube channel. I have the link below, and you can see the super cute card that she did, and I'm sure she'll have some super cute, awesome techniques to show with ribbon and enamel dots as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the tutorial. I'll start out by showing you guys the stamped images that I used. I'm not going to color Copic in this video, but I thought I would um, show you each of the stamp sets that I got the images from. So these are all the images that I used. I actually actually didn't end up using this the little seahorses because um, they didn't fit on the card but the rest of the images I did use so here's where I got all of them this is one of the newer Lawn Fawn releases it's called Fantastic Friends and this is where I got this cute little hermit crab he's so cute and he matches the hermit crab that's on this stamp set which is the Critters in the Sea stamp set and I actually just got this from a D stash it's one of my first D stashes and oh my gosh I'm so addicted to doing those. They're so fun. So um, there's a bigger little hermit crab on there. So I thought he was really cute. That's also where I got the seaweed from and the super cute little turtle. He was so fun to color. So I used that. And then you guys know I love bows and this little love and breakfast set has a sweet little bow here. And that's what I used on the little turtle for the little tiny um, potted um, clay pot I used this stamp set which is our friendship grows it's also lawn fawn and oh my gosh I just thought that would be so cute I know when you see under the sea type of things there's different things that have fallen into the water so I thought it'd be cute if if one of the hermit crabs was coming out of that and then I also used this stamp set it is critters ever after I love this stamp set and this is where I got the super cute little castle and I thought it was like a cute little sea castle and then the dies that I used are the Ocean Wave Border dies, and I love these dies. I've used them for scallops on my cards now, and I use this for the waves, which turned out really cute. I also just flipped it the other way, and I used that for my sand, which looked really nice. And then um, I also used the large stitch, re stitch rectangle stackables. So that's everything that I used, so I wanted to start by showing you guys that. So I will show you now. I just have a little card base here. And here is the stitch rectangle stackables die. And I just used some of the Pokemona Me Lawn Fawn paper. And then I cut out another one with the stitch rectangle die. And then I just used along the top a little ocean border die so that it would look like there is little waves there. I also cut out two more and um, I'm going to layer these up so that it just gives it some more dimension and I'm going to tuck those under here which I thought would be super cute. And then as I said I also did the sand so what I did was I cut it out as a stitch rectangle square and then I just used the ocean border the opposite way to get a cute little um, scalloped pattern. And then here are my little stamped images colored up. I wanted it to kind of have like a little pastel-y theme. I love that little turtle. He was so cute to paper piece, or sorry, he was so cute to Copic. And then I gave him a little bow because she's a cutie. And then I Copic'd up this little 
potted plant and some seaweed. I did a little fish and I did two little seashells here. And then of course the hermit crabs, which are so cute. Um, I usually do my Copic coloring in my video, but sometimes my videos get so long and it is a ton of work to do the editing. So for this video, I thought since I was showing two other techniques, I would just um, skip the Copic coloring this time. So these are my Copic colored images and I will have all the colors that I use for my Copics listed on my blog if you're interested in knowing the colors that I used. So those are the elements that I'm going to use on my card. So now I'm going to speed up the video and put all that together and then I will come back and show you guys how I use the ribbon and enamel dots. <laughs> sentiment you're fantastic and I did that with the Lawn Fawn Fantastic Friends stamp set and I used some pop dots and popped up the little sea creature so that it had some dimension and I just think it looks so stinking cute. So now what I'm going to do is use some ribbon and also use some enamel dots. So the enamel dots that I'm going to use are just doodle bug enamel dots and I do make my own so I don't buy them that much anymore but I had been gifted a whole bunch of them from my friend Amanda and oh my gosh I have been hoarding these but I think they'll be so cute for this project and these doodlebug ones actually have like a little bit of glitter in them so I think that will be super cute for the ocean theme so what I thought I would do I'll do the ribbon part second but what I thought I would do with the enamel dots is use them almost like the little gravel at the bottom of the sea so um it, almost like sand or give it some dimension like that. So I'm just going to pick out some different cute ones and just scatter them along the bottom so that it looks like super cute little gravel. And I have some gold ones with glitter and some cute yellow ones and I just think they will look really, really cute. So I'm going to do that right now. along the bottom of the little C and I just think it adds some cute dimension especially with these little critters pop dotted so it looks like they're kind of walking on top of it and um, for those of you that make your own enamel dots this would be really easy too. And so now I'm going to use some ribbon. So this is just some American Crafts ribbon and it's just teal with some little white polka dots. And what I'm actually going to do is um, I'm just going to kind of twist the ribbon and just keep adhering it on to kind of give it like a wave type of look. And I have seen this before and I've done it on a number of my cards in the past and I just think it adds some really cute dimension and you don't see it very often done on cards. So I'm going to do that right now. guys. 
guys. I just think it looks so cute and there's just a ton of dimension on here. I absolutely love it. Um, so as you saw, it was super easy just to put that ribbon down and I know a ton of you girls have ribbon in your stash so this is an awesome way to use up the ribbon. It looks so cute and it just makes it look like these little turtles and fish are swimming through there and also the enamel dots just add some super cute dimension so you guys should definitely try that out thank you so much for watching and please go over and visit christina's youtube channel i know most of you are probably already subscribed to her but she is going to be doing a really cute technique this week also with the ribbon and enamel dots so you should go check that out and i'm sure her card is going to be absolutely adorable so thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and I hope you all have an awesome day. Bye now.